Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got Shannon Breen from Freightvana and we're gonna jump into rapid fire. This is where we get to expose his underbelly a little bit. All right, what are you reading or listening to right now? Um, I signed up for, is it called Headway? Which is like the app that has- Oh, like Mike the, got you on that. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt like that was perfect for me, right? All right, like, if there's two of you doing it, now I gotta start looking Oh my gosh, it's too. so good. Especially in the car. It's like a, like, it's like a hack, right? Yeah. It's It's, I'd say cliff notes, but I honestly don't do a lot of like paperback reading. I got no. two young ones. I am exhausted. If I read, I sleep. So outside of the weekend, like Headway sounds perfect for me. And I, I really loved it. Well, so second far. endorsement. So now we got to get right. serious about this. All right. Next, what movie could you watch over and over again? Uh, Braveheart. What? Come on, give us this classic line in there. Which You're one? not going to do the freedom. Oh, see, I don't think that's the classic line. Oh. I like the one where he's riding up and down, talking about laying in your bed uh, as a child. Um, oh. And what would you give for just one chance to let him know they can take your life, but they can't take away your freedom. Your, okay. But not when he's, you know, getting oh, yeah. eviscerated, like, All right. yelling freedom. What is the one crazy thing you'd like to do if there were no consequences? Go to space. Yeah, that's not that crazy, but I like it. I think it's pretty crazy but yeah, yeah. At, the pretty rate, elite, at the rate too. you're going you can just buy a first class ticket pretty Silly, soon yeah what would you like to be remembered for legacy just being a, a team leader an ambitious team leader that that put his team before himself who's your favorite person in the world right now and why i'd say my wife and 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 i know that sounds obligatory but like a lot of conversations and stuff lately and i realize like the journey that i'm on and the sacrifice it takes like truly not possible without her and took her to dinner a couple uh weeks ago to tell her as much because i feel like she probably takes the brunt of the uh entrepreneurial journey more than oh, anybody did she buy or did you uh yeah i did yeah we know how you're into free lunches yeah, now yeah so. <laughs> come on i had to bust you. i am in no free lunch i had to bust your balls on that one uh what is the best part of your morning and why uh i adjusted my schedule to try to see my kids when they wake up in the morning oh, just for that five minutes and so it entails me getting to work a little bit later than probably I'd like to, but in a past life, I never got to see him in the morning. And hmm. I felt like that it's interesting how that five, 10 minutes changes my day. How do your parents describe what you do? Proud. Yeah. My dad, my dad mom, pretty proud of the, the bets and the, and the build. Good. Uh, what do you think your industry will look like in another five to 10 years? More consolidation, um, definitely more continued tech enablement, um, and probably more partnership approach than transactional. What occupation uh, would you have liked to try it or do you think you were destined for other than what you're currently doing? Oh, easy. Uh, Mel Gibson, what it takes, marketing, <laughs> downtown Chicago, I think he's at, like pitching Nike on their next stuff. Like I didn't want to do the thing where I you know, thought you could hear what women thought, but that job, like in that office, like with the biggest companies in the country, being able to like architect their their commercial like i am a geek on commercials i don't know why i've always have been huh? but you watch them and did i like them did i not i just i felt like that job was the best job if i could go back this one i always say is more cerebral but what did you learn recently yeah that no matter what my passions and ambitions are like especially for my son like he's not me <laughs> spoken like a true parent mm-hmm they're on their and own I, journey. And yeah. And like, I, I literally even started pulling back, right? Because I don't unpack it too much, but like, like I'm just built a certain way and, and he somewhat is, but like at all times, no. And so I just have to respect that. Like him as a kid is not me as a kid and him as a kid is not me as a, an adult, like he just different passions, ambitions. And I've got to kind of let him find his way. Favorite ice cream flavor. Cookie dough. No doubt. Oh, you were fat you were quick on that one. All right, fondest memory as a kid. My parents, we didn't get to ever fly, but we got to go to Hawaii when I was 12. Mm. One of the two times I think I got to go in an airplane um, from a financial perspective. And we drove to the back of the island. And I remember being like, we took that road to Hana in Maui. And I remember being like, damn, that, 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 that ride, that van ride is going to be a pain in the ass coming back. And my dad's like, well, it's good because we're taking a helicopter. Ah. And like, I'll never forget it just because just – being in Hawaii, not being able to take trips like that, my dad surprising us was, was just such an amazing memory. I'll never forget. Do you have a favorite quote? Well, I do like oh. St Stephen Cur or Stephen Curry's, like, uh, stay humble, stay hungry. Yeah. I think if you got those two, you can you can accomplish a lot. All right. What is something you're great at cooking? I wouldn't say cooking's in my, my forehead. Um, All right. What's your favorite takeout? <laughs> 
favorite takeout. Uh, I tell you, I went to the Buck and Rider recently for some oysters. I like there that. You go. So. This kind of falls along the line of the quote thing, but what's the best advice you've ever been given? Uh, I go back to my uncle to, to our chat, like, you know, don't lose sight of your health. Like without it, nothing else will matter. What skill do you think everyone should have? I think everybody should learn grit if that's considered a skill, but I, you know, I don't know if that's born or taught or what, but <laughs> you know, if to survive anything, I think you got to be able to pick yourself up and Sometimes I feel like people wallow too much. Yeah. And final one, what was your most memorable year and why? I'd say 2021 uh, when I resigned and like kind of in a crazy way, like you take, you've worked 25 years of your life yeah. to get to a certain spot. And then at some point you just hand it all back. It's, it's a, a profound change. And the thing I'd share there is like, it changes the way the things you learn about yourself Thing, the way you evaluate your relationships, um, the way you see the world, everything. Like my, I felt like my whole life changed that year. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Yeah.